according to my little sewing chart, it's about time we got some beetroot underway. I know most people now have already got theirs in, some are popping up and that, but uh, I always tend to sow my beetroot roughly around the middle of March. And the variety, as usual, is Baltardy. I'll just quickly show you the seed there. It's a bit unusual to mouse seeds. And that there is called a multi-germ, and all that means it's got more than one embryo. So don't be surprised if you see two or three seeds popping up out of the same cell. I've dipped some holes in there, roughly about two centimetres deep, three quarters of an inch deep, and I'm just putting one seed in. I'll be growing these on roughly to probably golf ball size, and I like those with a salad that size. And probably a week or two later on, I'll be sowing another tray of these, and I'll be growing those much bigger to at least tennis ball size. And they'll be planted out on the allotment bed in between the rows of tomatoes. Well, that was the snapshot of the allotment in its current status. As you can see, it's way behind normally am. But sometimes the allotment has to take a back seat for more important things. Anyway, uh, at the moment, I'm just going to start cleaning the veggie pot out and then we can start sowing some seeds. I've given this a decent weeding now. I'm just giving it a top dressing of fish blood and bone and I'll just tittle that into the surface. Surprisingly, the level of the compost didn't drop much. I was saying that there's quite a bit of moisture in there. So uh, I'm going to say tittle this in. And the first crops I'm going to sow direct in here is a couple of rounds of turnips. The turnip I'm putting in is the one called a Tokyo cross. I'll put a little couple of four rows in with my hand. And I'm just going to broadcast sow them in the drill. I'll just go along there. I'll have to thin these out, obviously, as I get up through to the top. Another crop we can get in at this time of year is a couple of rows of radish. These will be up quite quickly. Temperatures at night are still well now, six, seven degrees, although we have had the yod one or two where it's over two or three degrees. But at the moment, this top will be okay. But if it does get it too cold, we can pop the plastic cover on. As well as closing the lid, that I noticed there's a little tear in the cover there considering this cover is about I think it's four or five years old that will see me out definitely for this season and I'll probably order a new one come the end of the year whether you remember at the beginning of the year I mentioned that I wasn't going to be growing any of the large giant onions well instead of growing any I've bought some from uh, DT Brown here these are the Kelsey ones there's 20 in the packet, and I think there's about £10.95, 11 quid or something like that. And this is the way they come packaged. All these do need now is potting on into a three inch or so pot. Last year I grew quite a lot of large onions, and to be fair, I've still got some left. Now we've been coming to the end of March. Usually, for me, the large size onions, the calcium, the mammoths, and that only last about six weeks but what I've done I've put them in a, one of the blue mushroom baskets popped them in that gazebo there protected from the elements but it's still bitter cold in the cold nights and that and they've stood to the test of time really well one or two have gone a bit squidgy and I think we've got about four or five left what I'll do a bit later on I'll take the camera in there and show you anyway at the moment I've undone these and I'll just bring these up to the camera so you can see a bit closer they do look nice plants. Whoa! If you can see that there, that's what they look like. So uh, I'm going to pot these up into three inch pots. Where I'm going to put them yet, I don't know, but that'll be a nice problem to have. The compost I'm potting the onions on is a mixture of the Heart of Eden peat free compost and also I've got a little bit left of the clover peat free. So I've just put them two together to bulk it up. And always when I pop the onions on, I always give them a little dusting of this charge. 
if you're not familiar with it at all, it's uh, described as beetle frass. <laughs> then uh, just give it a sprinkle in. I know it's quite popular with a lot of the, the big onion and shell growers and that. So uh, I'll just add that on. That'll do for that. Pop that back. Give that a mix. I must say, I'm very, very happy with the, the quality of these onions. Is is Well, it makes you wonder whether it's grown them for that. I think they worked out at 50p a piece or something, so not too bad. Anyway, I'm going to mix these up and I'll start potting on and I'll let you know there should have been nothing 20 in there. It looks a lot more than there actually is. So uh, I'll pot them on and get back to you a bit later. Out of those 20 plug plants, I managed to rescue 31, which makes them even better value for money. It's been a good while since my Kelsey's was on uh, number 64 on the sewing list, <laughs> not to worry. These are in the Vitapod and more or less left of the round devices now. The Vitapod is on a timer which comes on at 7 o'clock in the evening till 7 in the morning, and the temperature kicks in round about, I think it's 12 degrees. So I think there should be unheated for most of the time. I'll give these a couple of weeks in here and then move them down to the allotment greenhouse if I can find some room that is. So here we are in the gazebo. If you just have a quick look in here, I've got one, two. These are some little, the little eight inch jobs. These are me shallots. These ones, uh, I think these are the lister and them still good. I've got one sprouting but them are nice and firm. What I've got left of the old uh, big onions there, that one's gone a bit squidgy as you can see, but still, these are still fairly good. I've probably got about five usable there. Them are the Kelsey type. It's about time I started having a look at this Vajiga raised bed now. This is uh, eight foot by two foot in old money, and the plan is for it to eventually go down the bottom and put the autumn fruit in raspberries in. So it's held up all over the winter, not a mark on it. I've got a video where I've done a build on this. I'll put a little link up in the corner and also one down below. So I'm going to tidy, get all the rubbish out of here and clean the space down the bottom and then I'll bring you back. These are the raspberries at the moment. They're all in small little buckets. The variety is Autumn Bliss. I'm going to move them and clear this soil out, but I reckon they've took root through the bottom. So here we are a few days later, as usual, the weather kicked in. I've tidied this up now, got most of the weeds out, and there's a lot of stray raspberries as well. So that's more or less levelled off. And these are the raspberries that are going in. These are in the 12 buckets. First of all, I want to get the Vajiga frame in and see about sorting it out and making it mild proof. So the next stage of the mould deterrent, I've lined the bottom with some fine uh, chicken wire and uh, I've just curled the edges up so it blocks all the gaps I pull it from the outside and you'll have a difficult job getting through that. So first of all now I've got some old branches from the apple tree, I'm going to put them into the bottom and then put a good layer of wood chip on. So that's the first barrel load of uh, wood chip in. I'm just going to put the same again in here. Then we'll get another layer of uh, horse manure just on the top. I'll then start putting the raspberries in and then we'll top it up with some spent potato compost. So that's topped up with manure. As I say I'll just put the raspberries in there and, uh, and fill it round with spent potato compost. I'm going to probably leave it for a few days now because we've got some more rain, I think, coming in and it'll give you a chance for it to settle down again. In the meantime, I'm going to have a nice, well-earned break. Well, in the end, I got a bit too impatient and uh, I'll come back and I've finished it. I've only got eight plants in. I think I had 12 last time, but that should be enough for me. All I've done now is topped it up with a bit more wood chip and that'll settle down nicely. So that's about it. 
Next day or two, we're going to be going into April the 1st, and that's no joke. I still haven't got the potatoes in yet, so that'll be probably one of the first jobs in the next video. So until then, stay safe all. See you later, and bye for now.